<laughs> and then blow it up right about here. It's perfect. Oh, I was gonna jump up on that. <laughs> I was gonna jump up on the hay, but it exploded. All right, hold on. We can still get up there. Go on, everybody, grab a bite. You know, sometimes you just gotta take time out to enjoy the simple things in life, especially during the zombie apocalypse. So here we go. Woohoo! Wee! Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Unturned. We are back here in Greece. I'm just sitting in the RV in the passenger seat, but don't get any ideas, you're not driving. All I'm doing right now is checking the uh, the trunk space, because I forgot that this thing actually has a trunk. <laughs> I'm just checking all the seats too. Seat inspection, looking for quarters, and any other change that we can find in the seats. And that's the driver's seat. Yeah, we don't want the driver's seat. All right, let's get over here and come out over here for a sec. Let's bring up the HUD. And uh, can I not get to the trunk from any other seat other than one? Well, that's dumb. So we have to sit here and idle with the uh, with the engine going and we're wasting gas. So the, I guess you can take the battery out, right? Steal the battery and then it won't waste gas. Yeah, very good. All right, well, that's one way around it. Uh, so what should we put in the trunk? We got a lot of space in the trunk, but it's not easy to get to. It's not like you can get to it fast. Um, I don't know. Not worried about it right now. Let's put that battery back in. Whoop, that's not how you do it. Toss it in there. Just throw it at it. Rover catch. Good boy. All right, let's go and uh, let's loot this place. But before we do that, before we do that. Oh, kitchen knife. Wait a second. Wait a second. I forgot my skin. Hold on. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Oh, I just found designer jeans. <laughs> Scrap them. I got tons of designer jeans. And if you saw my video video yesterday, um, I showed you guys how to cra um, craft new cosmetics and skins, right? By, uh, by scrapping extra cosmetic and skins that you might have. But anyway, we're not worried about that right now. What we're worried about is my knife. So check it out. I got a new knife. Let's equip it. It's blue. It's awesome. Huzzah! That's what I'm talking about. So my kitchen knife skin was not activated, but it is now. So we're going to go ahead and just salvage. I know I hate to do it. It was a kind of a cool weapon, but you know what? It's too slow. I don't really like it very much. And now we can repair the kitchen knife, which is much faster. I mean, super fast. And as long as you can hit the zombie, you can stun him, right? Doesn't matter what with. And you know what? We're not even going to put it over here. Not even gonna use that anyway. We're gonna go shoot. We're gonna shoot because we have lots of ammo. So let's shoot. We'll draw them out. So we found this um, sort of refugee camp, like a survivor camp. In the last episode, we found this trail leading up the hillside that looked really suspicious. It was very well overgrown, and we uh, we decided and we decided to hold off going in until today. This episode. So now we'll just wait for everybody. Oh, gosh. I didn't fall for that thing very long, did I? Where'd that flanker go? Oh! Woo! Hiding in the grass. <laughs> wow. I did that. Oh, compass. Sweet. All right. Just watch out for uh, spitters and flamers. Oh, you? I'm going to just stab if you don't mind. Because I don't want to waste... I don't want to waste ammo on you. Now watch how fast this thing is. Wham! Wham! I don't even have to move. Because sometimes you have to backpedal, right? You have to backpedal to keep uh, your distance while you're swinging, but not with this knife. No reason to backpedal. And now we have a compass, which is pretty helpful. So we can see which direction we're going, but we're still looking for a chart. Oh, this little guy's in here. All right, well, let's shoot him. Somebody outside still? I don't see any spitters. Yeah, if we're gonna find a map, we're gonna find one in here probably because this is like a campground type place, right? We got a lot of cloth and clothing. What are these two doing? Huh. Repair on the fence. Oh, water! Yes! Now we just need a canteen. And yeah, we can get the darn water out of there. Um, but I don't see a map or a chart. That was kind of a shame. Maybe one of these guys would drop one. A campfire? Whoa! <laughs> oh, man, I'm getting these fast. Oh, jeez, that's a lot. Woo. A, lot of, a lot of dudes getting swarmed. I didn't realize there were that many in here. Got all of them? Oh, chart. Chart in the pipe. Got it. A chart in the pipe. Sweet. So now we have a chart and a compass. If we bring up our map, we can see where we are, which is almost dead center of the map. And we can even put waypoints now, too. 
with the compass, we can tell where we're going to go, right? So if we want to go to Farsala and just cut right through the countryside, it's up there on the uh, on the compass. See it? It's that way to Farsala. So maybe that's where we're going to go. Oh, wait, sports shot. No, 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 no. No, junk. We don't even need that. Absolute garbage. I think the zombies are gone, so let's loot this place. We can take a piece of bread and make a sandwich. Another piece of bread, extra campfire, and some good energy drink, which is perfect timing because we need it. Um, Schofield clip is okay. Schofield's a nice little weapon if we can find one. But honestly, what I really want right now is a canteen. And if we don't find one, we can at least make one. We do have tape, so that is a possibility. And we can fill it up right here. The water will be dirty, but we have a lot of, um, we've got a lot of putrefaction tablets, don't we? All right, no canteen so far. Let's go back this way. Is that it? Hmm, can we check these containers, I wonder? I don't think you can open these containers. I think they're just there for show. But maybe we can hop up here. Um, assuming I can even hop. What's our, what's our hopping skill? Uh, we might be able to. We have a lot of experience we should probably spend. Oh, jump up on the Weber. The Weber grill. Nice. What's up here? Oh, I can't quite make it up there. Is that a GPS? I think I saw a GPS. We, gotta, we have to jump higher. Jump higher. Man, jump's getting expensive. Not a GPS, just a barrel. <laughs> false alarm that was a waste uh jump is never a waste jump is super important to have it's great for escaping and getting into places that you can't normally get into without having a good jump ability right um okay i think what we'll do is head out of here go get organized eyes and then move on to the next location which i don't know exactly where that's going to be but what we'll do is uh, have a look at our new map and our new compass, and then we'll boogie. <laughs> oh, that smells so nice. Sometimes you just gotta sit back and smell the roses, and the coffee, and the cotton, and the uh, carrots. <laughs> you know the old saying, right? Now check this out. It's not a rose, but it is a, is it a tulip or something? I think it's a tulip, look at that. It's yellow flower. That is a tulip. We're going to put the... Whoa, watch out! Oh, I almost got sliced. We're going to put this right on Rover's dashboard. Right about there. Oh, check it out! <laughs> that looks great! Oh, we need a name for our little tulip. Give me some names down in the comments for our tulip. I'll, I'll pick the best one. I'm pretty good at coming up with names, but not, not for flowers. And we have coffee! We got coffee, too! Right here. Raw coffee beans let's go well don't get too close to that fire let us cook up some coffee here i think i might have to bump my my cooking up though oh i need a pan too we don't have a pan yeah well we need a frying pan we're gonna have to head to town to get a frying pan so we can make some coffee all right well, let's put that back in there for now uh, we can make a grilled cheese but that means we have to bump our cooking up to the next level yeah because it requires cooking too but we have everything we need and this grilled cheese is gonna fill us up so let's not eat it yet we'll chuck it in here we'll just have a little chicken leg left over from yesterday and now we need something to drink so let's make our pine bottle b-o-t-t -T bot and i got the uh crafting materials for it and now we just have to go and collect some water from the well inside this refugee camp. But we're gonna do it quietly. We don't need to make a lot of noise here. Let's grab a green flare. Let's put the knife in the hands. Oh, I got a new skin here for the Cobra. Pretty sweet, right? It was like 30 cents. I was getting tired of looking at the default skin, so I bought it. Yeah, we're gonna do lots of skins in this uh, this particular series in Greece. Why not? <laughs> hey buddy, just, just uh, wanna grab some water. No cause for alarm here. All right, we'll kill these two fools. Just get them out of the way. Then we're going to sneak in. Oh, <gasps> Master Key! Sweet! And an arrow, which we don't need. All right, I don't want to loot the place again. We just looted it, and I feel like that's kind of cheaty. Let's just get everybody away from the well. Go get it. Go get it. Out of the tents, everybody. Okay, hopefully sucking water up out of a well doesn't cause 
It doesn't make any noise. Uh, it doesn't. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Goodbye. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to uh, check the map and see where we want to go. Where do we want to go? We have a mine down here. The Hellenic Forces HQ is down in the south. That's where we can get a bunch of quests. Farm. How about if we... I think we should go back out to the road. Go to this farm. And then the mines. And then the Hellenic Forces HQ. All right. So I think I'm going to turn around and get back on the road. We'll follow the dirt road down to the uh, the main road. And maybe we'll find some more chickens. <gasps> Wait a minute. That's not a chicken. It's a wolf. Get wrecked. <laughs> Is he alone? I think he's alone. All right. Let's go get his goodies. Meat and leather. Perfect. All right. Here's our little dirt road right here. What is that over there? Those cows? Something white. There's a lot of them. Hello? What are you guys? Sheep? Who the heck? What is sheep doing in this game? <laughs> what? And what is that? Hey, buddy, move. Mutton. You guys drop mutton? There's sheeps added to the, uh, the farming mod. I didn't even know that. They must be brand spanking new. They drop mutton and cloth. <laughs> oh, look at that fresh lamb chop. And they didn't even run away when I ran over their friends. Okay, well, let's see how tough they are. Just keep your eyes open for wolves, though. Usually where's there, where there's sheep, there's wolves. Yeah. Oh, intestines? I knocked his guts right out of him. I sliced out his guts. Let's go get that last guy. I can't believe there's sheep. That's so great. We have sheep. Oh. Hold on, sheep. I want your guts. Or nothing. Oh, you didn't have anything, huh? I don't really want the cloth. Oh, Greece is full of surprises. We have two slices of mutton and a slice of venison. We're going to be eating like kings next time we stop. We can cook that stuff up. All right. You know what? We'll just put that right in the trunk. We got a little space. Oh, and also with that farming mod, you can make stacks. So I've got 10 cloth in that one little stack right there. That's pretty sweet. And you can make uh, flower pots like this one here. I really, really like the boar farming mod. All right, we're back on the road. No more distractions. Let's get to the farm. And that is this way. 96 bottles of beer on the wall. 96 bottles of beer. Take one down, pass it around. Oh, here we are. Here we are. It's a farm. Looks like maybe, er, hit the brakes. Looks like, is this an olive farm? Wow, it is enormous. And there's a guy on fire here. All right, well, let's uh, let's go say hello. Uh, oh, intestines. Why am I carrying intestines around? What can we do with intestines anyway? Sheep's intestines suitable for sausage making. Wait, what? Sausage making. Oh, maybe, maybe there's new food items in the uh, more farming mod. I'm gonna have to check that out. I keep forgetting that I have that. We can make, like, uh, french fries. I know that much. Let me just check. Let's see here. Let's see what we can make with the farming mod. So all we need is bacon. It can either be fresh bacon or canned bacon, and we can make a sausage. <laughs> That's excellent. And what else can we cook? Uh, well, I don't have enough ingredients in my hand, so it's not going to show us all the recipes. But I think we can make, like, french fries and cheeseburgers and a bunch of other stuff. But you know what? Let's not let's not worry about that right now. I will investigate that, and we'll uh, we'll do some cooking, maybe in the next episode. For right now, we just want to go and check out this farm. It is kind of dark and late, though. Do we really want to do this right now? I don't have any way to see, other than with my flashlight. Hmm. I wish I had a uh, a headlamp or something. Well, we're going to have to shoot the flamer, obviously. Let's just avoid him for the time being. Let's check out this farmhouse. Looks like we have a big old farmhouse. And what is this then? <sighs> Two farm? This is like a garage. Wham! 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 <laughs> I love that you can beat him to death with a flashlight. Sport shot. 
and a half. Yeah, let's break the sport shot down. This might make a little noise. And maybe we'll fix up this flashlight. Yeah, we're going to need some kind of a light. Either a light on a gun, like a tactical light. Or a headlamp would be pretty awesome as well. Oh, hold on. We got a new item here. Yellow flower. We can make another tulip. I kind of want to avoid the zombies if possible. So we don't have to beat them with a flashlight. It just takes too darn long. Although I suppose we could bump up our melee strike ability. Sure. I mean, the cops do it, right? They beat people with flashlights. If they can do it, we can do it. Oh, there's the olives trees right there. But they don't give olives, apparently. They just give pine. Pine sticks, that's about it. Oh, this place is crawling. Literally. How's that feel? My mag light to your brains. Cops get to use like a big old mag light, though, don't they? Those mag lights are like 10 pounds. <laughs> They're insane. Oh, this guy doesn't have a hat. I'm so used to seeing farmer zombies with hats. Oh, a red flower. Thank you so much for that seed. Um, I see shotgun shells. I'm wondering if there's a well here. Oh, there's gas. Here's a well. And guess what I forgot? I forgot my gas cans and I forgot my pine bottle. Uh, I think we have a jack. Actually, do we have a jack? I think we might already have one. But that is certainly going to come in handy, especially if we get stuck. If poor Rover gets stuck. Alright, we'll raid the kitchen. Got lots of wheat at this farm. Cheese is good for grilled cheese. And maybe even a burger, right? Like a cheeseburger? Yeah. Oh, chainsaw! We don't have to stab trees with knives anymore. <laughs> That's excellent. That we can turn into fertilizer. This has turned out to be a pretty good haul, considering. You don't usually get very good things in, uh, in farms. Can't get too excited about farms, usually. So I'll grab that for the middle. All right, let's jump down and grab... Where's the RV? Oh, whoa, there's more houses over there. Look at them all. What are those? Huh. Maybe that's where the farmhands live. What the heck is our RV? Oh, there's the burning guy. All right, our RV is over here, I think. Yep. All right, I'm going to go get the canteen and the gas cans. And then we're going to fill them all up. So hang on one sec. I'll be right back. Well, sun's almost up. Morning's coming. And we don't have any coffee. I don't believe it. All we need is a frying pan. We can cook up a nice hot cup of joe over the fire. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, and french fries. And cheeseburgers. And sausage. Ugh. All right, let's go get a, uh, let's go get a frying pan. <gasps> <sighs> Gotta be a frying pan at one of those houses on the other side of this farm, um, farm, right? There's two houses over there. Guaranteed we'll find a frying pan. And if not, I will scour grease until I do. We got coffee beans. And they're getting old and stale up there in that box. And we want them nice and fresh for some fresh coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get on over to the other side of this farm and we'll loot these two houses and then we'll go get the gas and the water. Oh, look, a quad. Ooh, hold on a sec. We could use that quad. I bet we can use that quad to our advantage. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's missing the tire. It's a, it's a, tr it's a try, not a quad. Um, I wonder... All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's, let's make a quad bomb. We want to blow it up anyway, right? Because um, we can make more space for a different vehicle. I'd like to get some more of the uh, the grease vehicles, if possible. So let's put a tire on there. It's got gas and a battery. And here we go. Quad bomb. We're going to go drive it right inside here and then blow up a bunch of zombies over by the gas and the, uh, the water. Come on, follow me, everybody. Follow me. Okay, I have not done this before, but kids, I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. The plan is to drive around, gather all the zombies, whoa, <laughs> and then blow it up right about here. It's perfect. Oh, I was going to jump up on that. <laughs> I was going to jump up on that hay, but it exploded. 
All right, hold on. We can still get up there. Go on, everybody, grab a bite. Grab a bite. Oh, look at the look at the, 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 the there's bullets. Oh, jump, jump, jump. What are you doing? I got stuck. I got stuck on the edge of the farmhouse, the barn, but I got out in the nick of time. Yeah. And we got bullets out of it. Look at that quad bomb. It actually worked. <laughs> I had a, maybe a 30% chance, is what I thought. But, uh, wow, that, that was pretty successful, I gotta say. I think I just came up with a new, uh, a whole new way to blow up zombies with a quad bomb. Nice. All right, well, guess what? We can get our water and our gas now. And no one's gonna bother us. Get the water. <laughs> fill up our jerry cans. And we can boogie. And I'll figure out what I just collected on the ground here later. Because I don't know. I was just picking up everything. All right. Let's go. Oh, what's this? I ran somebody over and he dropped a corn seed. And we got one little fella over here. Oh, look. There's a, uh, there's a tractor bomb. I don't think we need any more bombs today. I think that was pretty good. Well, we might as well check out this house right now. Let's just go inside. Hey, buddy. You're just looking for a frying pan. That's not a frying pan, you weirdo. Uh, but that's a pretty cool thing. The side is a nice little weapon. Uh, ooh. Ooh, hello. Get ready. Here they come. Here they come. And I see a flanker in there. I see a flanker in there. Ooh, ooh, the fast guys. Lots of ammo too, which is nice. Hey! I don't think I got the flanker. Did we get the flanker? I saw a shimmering blue zombie there. But I don't see him anymore. I think we got him. Yeah, that quad bomb really took care of most of the zombies here. I think I, I guess I did get that guy. Hockey stick. Yucky chips. Come on. No, no, no. Frying pan. Frying pan. All right, there's one more house to loot. Please, I hope there's a frying pan here. I want coffee. And I won't stop until I get one. Eggs. Tomato. Trash barrel. Corn. And no frying pan. Oh, this is horrible. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go into town. Oh, what's out here? Sweater vest? Cargo pants! Ooh! Oh, that's fantastic. That's a great find. Pick them up. Pick them up and fix them up. All right, pick up that sweater vest and let's repair these cargo pants. What does it take to repair? Perfect! Three, slap them on, and they give us a lot of extra space. Maybe, well, at least one extra column. So drop those leather bottoms. Right. Awesome. <laughs> and a slide. Oh, we gotta go. Whoa, 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 whoa. So slippery. Where's the ladder? You know, sometimes you just gotta take time out to enjoy the simple things in life. Especially during the zombie apocalypse. So here we go. Woohoo! Wee! <laughs> oh, that was fun. I'm going again. I'm going again. Face first. Face first. Ha 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 ha. All right, that's enough fun for one day. Let's get out of here. I gotta get all sorted out. I've got so much stuff, but let's just uh, let's just get away from these farmhouses. We'll park over here. I'm gonna get organized, and I think I'm gonna blow up this uh, this tractor. Although what I might do is grab the tire out of one of the tires off there, so we can have another spare. We do have. Um, let me see. Hold on. Oh yeah, we have a spare here in the trunk, so I can put that one back over here. Anyway, we're going to call it quits right here, folks, for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. We shall continue our quest for the, uh, the frying pan, because I want to make some dang coffee, and french fries, and cheeseburgers. Alright, we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.